to the gist here on the joy news channel my name is miss g i know that you're having a great weekend so in few weeks or a few weeks ago we had um, a very huge sensation when it comes to uh music uh always we talk about musicians and uh their works and all that but we had to you know talk about the people behind the music in recent times and we talked about just one man who made us proud beyond the shores of ghana a lot of people have heard songs from him have heard his name aren't too sure who he is yes they've heard he's a sound engineer but who is this guy who was able to meet beyonce produced for him uh, got uh, a lot of accolades out there well I'm fortunate to have a conversation with him today. His name is Guilty Beat, at least that's what we know him as in show business. But what's his real name? What's sound engineering anyway? For those of us who really do not have an idea, we get to find all of that out today on the Just Here on Joy News. Let's take a song uh, that he produced just recently. And when we're back, he gets to find out who Guilty Beat is. I'm in the studio actually, so we'll find out more here. All right, welcome back. So you sing that song, uh, Shatawali Beyonce, already. Everybody's talking about it already, so we get to have a conversation about it already, everything already. But if you just tune in, uh, this is uh, The Gist with me, Miss G, and we are hanging out with the man behind the song you just heard. He worked on that project. We know to what extent he did some work, but his name is Guilty Beat. And also, you hear the Aquaba, Aquaba, Aquaba on this. You're welcome, Guilty Beat. Thank you. You look extremely different from the Guilty really? Beat I, I saw a few months ago. How, how did I look? The hairstyle. <laughs> you you yourself, you know you look different. The hairstyle, there's yeah. some puffy cheeks now. Oh, okay. And you know, you look, you're growing beard and all that. So you look different. You know that. Uh, I, mean, I tried to freshen up before I came. I see. <laughs> yeah, Life is good. I can say that. <laughs> good. Congratulations to you. Thank you. We're extremely happy about what you've been able to achieve. Yeah. And, you know, before now and even now what you're achieving. Yeah. Welcome back to Ghana. Thank you. We saw I'm from you. here. So. Uh, well, but we saw you, you know, hanging around the high and mighty, the power couple, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What a pleasure it was for you. Yeah, I mean, it was very, like, overwhelming, mm -hmm. you know, standing next to her. People say that I look shy, of course. I was going to ask you that. I was of course, I look that. shy. I was like, how oh, is it shy? Of course, I look shy. It's Beyonce, come on. Like, I can't I act like, I can't act like I'm too, no, no, I've seen her before or something like that, but yeah. Because I saw you when you cross, I think she was granted an interview or something. You cross the and you walk yeah. in, like, like, I'm like, oh, <laughs> up and why? Why? Why are you to be extremely gentle and extremely careful? Yeah. What's going through your head at that moment? I was just thinking, wow, look at how far God has brought me. You know? mm -hmm. So I was just, at that moment, I was just like, I'm grateful. I'm wow. grateful. I'm grateful. <laughs> That's all I was saying. I see. And so for those of you who don't know, this is the man, you know, we were talking about. Now, let's get to know you better. Mm. I'm going to ask you like the when she kind of question, who is Guilty Beat? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you want to let us into yeah. your life a bit. Who are you before we continue the music uh, conversation? Mm. Because we hear Guilty Beat, Guilty Beat. We don't even know your real name. Yeah, mm. I'm, I'm called Ronald. Ronald okay. Banfo. Yeah, so I was bo I was born in Italy. Wow. I was raised in Ghana, and um, yeah, I stayed here pretty much my whole life. I'm not like outgoing or anything. I'm I'm mostly in the studio working. I'm pretty calm, as you can see. I'm I chill. can tell. Yeah, I'm chill. Like no fighting here. And, there, nah. and you you're shy as well. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at least he stole us his name. So some people say, ah, you have a very beautiful name. Mm. Then all of a sudden, you're a guilty beat. <laughs> like, really? People are claiming innocence. Mm. Why do you want to be claiming guilty? No, I mean, it came from... I had a t-shirt okay. and scripted guilty on it. And all my friends back in high school were like, they, they, love, they love what I'm wearing. So they kept saying guilty. Anytime I wear a t-shirt, like, guilty, guilty, guilty. And I thought, okay. I just added beats to it because I don't want it to look like... 
bad. So mm -hmm. the beast that are guilty, not me. <laughs> I see. But uh, tell, tell me, um, you were talking about how you... So you got the guilty name back in senior high school. Yeah. That's what it means. Yeah. So at that time, you had not thought of production or... No, you I already, was. Oh, I, was, I see. I was already... I've been producing... No, like, okay. When I was 12, I was doing... I was just making beats. How did that happen? Like, you should have somebody in your house who was doing it <laughs> that you were learning from... The, it's passion, you know. So, um, Sony Ericsson, they've got this application on their phone called Music DJ. Okay. And a friend of mine had a Sony Ericsson phone, so I brought his phone and I found the app. Then, you know, I started playing around. They have loops that you can ar use to arrange, like, beats that you want. And my friends used to do, like, rap battles with it. Mm. And from then on, I was like, I love this. I want to do this for life. And I'm here now. At all? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's a big story to tell, you know, <laughs> just with the phone of mm, your friend and yeah. then you decided to, and then you just fell in love. Yeah. And then what happened next? Yeah, you know, um, I got Fruity Loops. It's a program. Okay. Yeah, Fruity Loops 3. How did you even get the, to know all those? Because you Research, just, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. At 12? Yeah, I was 13. So it was 12, 13. I was just... Hey, uh, then yeah. that about. <laughs> because if, if you grew up in, you know... For want of a better word, you mm. know, in a kind of home where yeah. you don't have access to a lot of things, you know, it is you normally no, you my do dad bought like pilolo, you do pilolo, you yeah. do you know, uh, chaskele and all that. But for I did, you, I did research, put in again all that in school. I mean, oh, in school because I grew up in in Tema. Okay. So I know like some few things. But for you to be doing research at thirteen. Because I loved it. Because you know, if you love something, you have to research about it. So you're using your dad's um, machine or? How? Yeah, I was using his. He bought a computer. You know those big ones desktop yeah mm -hmm. yeah and then i found out about fruity loops i was looking for programs you can use to make beats and then i found out about fruity loops 3. so i installed it and then um yeah me and my friend he's called edwin jubo we were going back and forth trying to figure out how to do this mm -hmm. then you know we found out we then i started making i started remaking songs so okay. yeah so when i hear a song i try and remake i, I try and make the beats similar to that song and that's how i was learning how to prove like make beats i want to know how long was this i'm, I'm still fascinated by the story yeah. and it looks to me like okay this might have happened maybe like five years ago and i'm looking at you i'm still looking so how old can he be <laughs> so how long was this how long ago i was wait since i started producing it's been nine years now okay yeah. okay oh you're pretty young 20 i'm <laughs> I'm 29. I'm 29. Okay. 29? Yeah. But you started doing this at 13. Yeah, Fancy. that was like just beat making, but I just like started recording and mm -hmm. like learning how to mix and all I'm that. just trying to, because you said you did research, I'm trying to see, mm. uh, at that time, did we really have internet? Were we buying into that? How was the research? Yeah, that's, there was internet. There was internet when you were 13. Yeah, you that was 29. like well, 2003 or something like that. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So that time, yes, yeah. we had, at least I remember that I, there was <laughs> a bit of it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, uh, beyond that mm -hmm. you told your parents that i want to do this like you said you want to do this for life were you able to tell them at that time that look this no, is what i wanted to do for you life know, african parents they don't really like when it comes to music they don't really i'm a hundred percent you understand so obviously then they, they saw the interest you know they saw that i was like trying to make beats on the, on the but they were, they were telling me nah go and sleep don't do this go and read a book you know but then the passion was too strong. Mm. I had to continue. What did they want you to? What did they at that time want you to become? No, they were just telling me just do what you're doing in school. I was learning social work. Okay. Yeah, so it's like just do it, just do it, just do it. And then finally, you said I'm not doing what they said I should do. No, I did it, finished it, but then I was still. What did you school? University of Ghana. Okay. Yeah. And then was you in school? Were you like? I was one doing of those it. Okay. Yeah, I was. I finish school, go to studio, work, come back. You're working for someone at somebody's studio. You were yeah, doing? I come to eighteen. I okay. was working in a studio. I come to eighteen. So, what, how did you even get there? I always understand the story okay. very well because people would appreciate the genesis. They didn't think mm. that you just woke up one no, day. No, 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 no. Yeah, there. people so, don't know so the story. Yeah. Exactly. So I want to understand the story. So how did you? How, how did you even get to that studio at Community Eighteen? Where so you, you uh, a friend of mine called Terry. T factor now. Um, he sent my beats to the guy that owned the studio. Mm. And so when the guy heard it, he was like, I like this. I can, like, he saw the future and he was like, bring him to the studio. So he, he brought me to the studio 
And you know, I, I started playing him more beats, I started making beats, and he loved it. And he said, I want you to be working in the studio. And that's how I come, I met Sarko there. That's the, I met R2Bs. At that time, like D Crime, um, Stay J. Oh. Yeah, rough Those and are the smooth. Tema guys, you yeah, know. Yeah, rough and smooth. They were all everyone was coming through that studio. That studio. Yeah. Now, uh, the first beat that just your friend Terry took to this man who had mm. the studio. What did you What did you produce that beat? You had At a home. machine on your father's desktop. Yeah. Same desktop. Yeah, the same. Your father was not around that day. No, <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't I always there. do when like no one is there, so okay. that I can have that peace of mind too. Like, so he create. never even had the chance to listen to what you oh, know dad, you sent, yes. No, 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 he has never heard that. Bit. Not even your mom, not no, no, none of your no, siblings, my nobody. Sister, no, no one. Okay, <laughs> so then you you got you you got to start working at, at the yeah. studio community eighteen. Mm -hmm. Did you ever tell them? Yeah, I mean, when it was our first April 10, 2010. Oh, like you thought it was April Fool. <laughs> yeah, I actually thought it was April Fool <laughs> okay. when he said, you know, I want you to come. I was like, is this guy serious? Mm -hmm. So I started working there and I told my mom that, you know, there's a studio, um, I'll be going there from time to time. But she didn't call me, she was like, okay, when you go, make sure you come back home early. And that's what she was like, I should do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you said they're going there to produce. Do you, do you remember mm. the first major artist you produced a beat for? Mm, Chase. Oh, I did Chase. Tell me your name. Tell me your name. Tell me your name. Yeah. Just tell me your name. <laughs> Give, Give me, me your number. number. Yeah. <laughs> I go call you. I, I love Chase, so I love his song. So yeah. and this note, let's listen to that song. When we're back, we'll get to know some more about Guilty Beat. And I want to know how Chase felt when mm -hmm. you, you did that and how you felt when you had the song in the speakers on the radio and all yeah. that. Yeah, so Chase, um, uh, he was, I was recommended to Chase by Dr. Duncan. Wow. To come and work, to come and work with me and uh, Steve, he employed me in the studio. So Chase came and he was, I was like, okay, you know, we've been told you to come and work with you. And he came, we did the song. That was the first song we did. Wow. We have like other songs, but that was the first song we did. And then he released it. Did, did he believe in you when he saw you at I, that time? I guess was he had. Skeptic about I, what I you do. I don't know. Do? I don't know, but I think for him to actually be there for us to create the song means that he did. Okay, yes, and, yeah. and then when you finished the song, and then you, you did more on that day, or but this is the first one you did. That was the first one we did. Then okay. he left. Then we, he came back the following week, and we did more like throughout the whole week. Throughout the whole week, so yeah. you've done a couple of songs, like more than one song with Cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. which of them was released first in the public domain that you you ever heard and said, "Oh, this is my work"? And that was a tell me your name. Tell me your name. That was the how, first song. How did you feel when I heard I heard it on YFM first? Mm -hmm. I was like, wow. Ah, sh <laughs> I can imagine the feeling. It was random because I was, I was in my room. I think well, I was going to the kitchen or something like that. Mm -hmm. Then the radio was on and I heard it. And I was like, oh, that's, that's the beat I did. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And did you tell family, like, come and listen to the song, the beat I did? It was just it? me at home at that time. So oh. I was celebrating by myself. Oh. <laughs> but then family gradually got to know. What yeah, you they how, got how, to know. How, how was the reaction when you began to show them your stuff, the songs that you have You're made like, beats oh, for? Okay. You know, they were trying to stop me, but then you're like, okay, we can see that you really love this. Okay, you just, just continue, just continue. Let's see where it takes you, you understand? And then you continued. And I continued. And then I'm sure you've recorded for almost every big name. Yeah, I did. I've done um, Stoneboy. Mm -hmm. I did which, which are the songs? Um, oh, there are a lot of them. Submarine. Okay. You ride like a submarine. Okay, I did I Submarine for Stoneboy. I did um, Get Away for Ifia. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that features somebody. Does it feature anybody? No, it's just a fear. It's just a fear. Okay. Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. a fear. Get away. Mm -hmm. That was 2013. Okay. That same year, I did um, Jesse Jacks featuring Whiskey. Wow. Bad girl. Baby girl, come in here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. How did you, how did you? Okay, so of course we talked about these ones who are mm. here with us in Ghana, so it's easy to reach you. But how did uh, you know Jesse and then Whiskey get in touch? No, so Jesse came to Ghana. Jesse. Obviously, that studio is where everyone comes to. Like, it's a, it was a big studio. Who owns the studio? Steve. Is he still around? No, he's not around. No, oh, okay. He's traveled. He's traveled. Yeah. Okay. So back then, that was a studio everybody used to come to. Like, yeah. Come to 18. Come to 18. Okay. Every, anyone that comes to GH, they, they, they make sure that he comes because it was like a nice studio, spacious, you can sit down. So Jesse came to the studio and I played him the beat. And that's when he, he sang on it. And he was like, yeah, he's going to let Whiskey jump on it. Wow. The next thing I realized, they sent it back, Whiskey is on it, it's about to release. I was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
it was that was that the time when you said Charlie looks like I've arrived though or <laughs> yeah for some point I was like mm, yeah right now I can boost that I produce this song but mm. then I think it wasn't my time yet you understand so still it was just like still a struggle at the time you know still trying to get like artists to like be like on my beats and for some please come to my studio you understand it was it was a lot it was a long it was a long struggle of trying to get people to work with me when you say it was a long struggle do mm. you do you have to be calling them up sending them beats how do you do it yeah do you, do you produce and you produce with somebody in mind or you just you know yeah back then I, like if i do a beat okay i'll do okay so i could have sound nice on this one and i'll do it then i'll, I'll give it to steve to send it to him mm. and he'll be like okay i'll get back to you then you hear anything mm. from them then I was, I would, I'll be doing more, 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 more. Was, okay, this, this guy will sound good on this. This guy will sound good on that. And I'll just send it to them. Sometimes they'll record it. They'll, they'll, they'll send it back. But then they don't have plans of releasing it. Mm. So it, like, you just, you just done the work. But it was all experience. You know? It was good experience. And, and, and how were you surviving? Was it pain back then? How were you taking care of? Obviously, your parents had sent you to school. They didn't mm. expect that you come back from school and start be saying, yeah. "Oh, I want to eat. Give me food. Give me money." <laughs> blah blah blah. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, I was. I was getting paid, not like so much. I was, they, they were even paying the studio before I get my cut. Mm. You understand? As as the producer. Because the place was being hired. Yeah, it was mm. being hired. So they had to pay the studio. They pay Steve because he was the owner. Okay. They pay him, then Steve will now you take his cut. Then he will now come and pay me. But, but what was the satisfaction from because if, if it was not that you know uh, for a graduate you mm, know it wasn't well, no, 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 it wasn't it wasn't it was terrible money oh <laughs> do you remember you something you want to share nah i mean i don't know how much was it i think like 2010 like that was when i began fresh i was like 100 cities hmm. to kind of take the, you know take this hundred where do you come in from the commute from tema to the place isn't no i stayed i walked from around i was around the area so i just walked to the oh, studio oh you live around 18 yeah which part of 18 that should be, that should be 18. Yeah, yeah. i live i live there that's why i'm, I'm oh, quite okay, curious okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to picture where the studio was anyway you know the police station yeah yeah just down the road oh i see down the police station yeah when you walk it's just like one minute the sells the cats whatever whatever they sell bread and stuff down oh, there. oh okay upstairs okay. you see but <laughs> oh i see okay so those of us who live around the eating <laughs> area maybe you have a fair idea of where, where, where so you just walk to the place so you didn't have to even you know go by a bus no, and all no, that no, so just walk. the money was just for you to you know yeah take care of it. i mean but still i mean at that time i mean it was a beginning so mm -hmm. i took it as for me it was good because i was like okay this opportunity for me to work more and do more work and learn you understand? so i didn't really care about the money at that time who was who was the star that walked into that studio that got you you know starstruck oh i knew you say that <laughs> <laughs> i knew you say i really that. wanted to meet him because i missed him twice there mm. was a time he came to the studio and left came to the studio and left and any time i got there they said sakode was here i was like oh, you guys mm -hmm. there was one time he came there and you were there. I was like, oh my god. So what did you do? <laughs> I took a picture, of course. Ah, and that was in what year? What year? You that remember? Was like 2011, I think. 2011. Yeah. Now, now, so when he came, did he come to? Has he recorded on any of your beats? Yeah, back then. Back, yeah, then. back then. Is it something it's, that is out? No, it didn't. It never came. It never out. came out. Yeah. And still, till now, you've not done anything together. We done. I okay. did. I did the recent one with Mr. Easy, called Do You okay yeah that's out already yes yeah, did you know do you sing alliance with let me see sometimes i don't know the name of the track the title i just want to know uh -huh. do you ever think of me okay that's <laughs> more like something that i have heard before i want to take that song so that we're going to talk about the aquabas uh, aquaba song uh that you know what let me be partial. There are two Ghanaian songs that i'm i watch big brother uh, nigeria a lot okay. there are two Ghanaian songs that so far mm -hmm. i have heard mm -hmm brother um brother brother Mr. Kede. no mike smith's song with pati rankin okay yeah, yeah, yeah. and aquaba okay. the day aquaba played like the reaction <laughs> with the movie they have i said jesus 
I was so excited like <laughs> to finally hear something from Ghana mm -hmm. on the Big Brother Nigeria. But mm -hmm. let's hear that. All right, so we're back and the conversation is here on the just with me, Miss G on Joy News. We are always here on the Joy News channel at eight thirty on Saturdays and Sundays. And uh, Sundays mostly we have a personality interview and today we are doing that with Guilty Beat, the man of the moment. He's still trending. Everybody's still mm -hmm. talking about him. So let's come to recent times mm -hmm. at what point did you also finally say okay look i produce for people mm -hmm. let me also produce something that has me yeah. featured i don't know how you did the aqua but i didn't see you featured but i saw your image in the thing what did you really <laughs> do on that song i made the beat uh, apart from the beat <laughs> why is your picture part of the people dancing My, ah, i made the beat so <laughs> i have to be part of it and the song is like mine yes yeah, so so the song is yeah, yours yeah, yeah. okay tell me so at what point did you finally say look now i'm going to get people to sing on my beat yeah. and own the song it was 2017 that's when i was like you know this is a time for me to because i realized producing for people didn't really give me that shine mm -hmm. or the attention so i was like okay if i do it for myself then maybe it will work out so that's that's when i did it towards the end of 2017 that's when i created aquaba then the following year it came out it was uh, why why did you choose these people that you had on patapa um mm. um mr easy and then papi koju so it started with papi koju i had the previous song with him that um we did because the whole of 2017 i was recording with papi okay so we have a bunch of songs so one of the songs he did that and upon it seems so and that's on a very it's a very slow song okay so I, and we didn't have plans for the song at that time so I took out that vocal, then I put in my program. I just I sped it up, then I created a beat around the, the vocal. Mm. 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 Yeah, that was it. So that was it, uh, and then you you reached out to. Yeah, I did. I did a little video because I was trying to promote myself. I did a little video of someone dancing, Meister dancing, mm -hmm. and I put the beat, the instrumental behind, like at the background. So the, the video started trending just a little bit. Just, it just started trending a little bit. Then Mr. Easy saw it and said, ah, what song is that? And I said, it's my song I'm about to release. Mm -hmm. And he said he wants to be on it. And I was like, okay, why not? And I, I, he sent me his email. I sent it to him. The next day, he was already writing to the song he had written. Then he said, let's put Patapa. And I was like, okay, yeah. It's going to be a huge surprise. People are, are not going to expect Mr. Easy, Patapa, and Papi Kujo on the song. So I was like, yeah, why not? and that was it so what, what, what was that chorus the aquaba chorus mm -hmm. was it already existing in the song that in, in what you had with papi initially or you created no 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 it was there it was well, there the vocal was there okay. i'll show you in a bit so. okay yeah i, I like that I, I want to see how you know some of these things work and then we never that song in 2017 you released in 2018 right 2018, yeah. it was one of the biggest songs yeah. won so many awards so far yeah, yeah. but no video yeah you know like Easy was traveling, Papi's traveling, and I needed them to be here. Mm -hmm. So it's all because of like the timing. That's why we didn't have like. A but we're in 2019. Video. What's happening? You still haven't <laughs> had all of them together. I've released Pilolo. I've released. Gang, so you, I've so released you've thrown that one away. <laughs> I mean, ha the song has done what it's supposed to do for me, like still. But I, I, don't you think it's too? Or you still want the video? I well, I don't know what he would if you would add. If the people want the video, we'll shoot it for them. But we heard that there was supposed to be a video, and this is mm. one of the things that I heard that there was supposed to be a video, mm. but somebody wanted money to feature in the video, and that's how come the video never happened. No, I, that's I, not true. Patapa never asked that he would be paid to feature in the video. No. Oh, so that's not the reason the well, video. I don't know. It never came to me that he said it, so I don't know about it. But you are the you are the one who was going to shoot the video. Yeah, it was me and Mr. Easy going to like join forces to and shoot, to shoot it. it. But nobody, nobody said. This was what this yeah, was it. Yeah. Mm. Like you said, you've done Pilolo. Yeah. So you moved away from. But how was the reaction for you when that song, you know, finally came out? Everybody yeah. was singing it. It went international. Yeah. You know, how did you feel? I was happy because I was like, okay, finally. Mm finally even during that time people thought it was some people thought it was papi's papi kojo's song some people thought it was mr easy's song even still they didn't even though my name was there huge in capital letters <laughs> still they didn't know that it was my song you know mm -hmm. so it took it took time maybe towards the end of 18 the beginning of 19 that's when people were like oh, okay guilty is aqua was was that was that when like you said you said finally was that what gave you the shine you were looking for i mean i didn't even have that shine properly at that time it's now that i'm having the 
proper shine. Like now, I, I can say a few people are recognizing my face here and there, and they actually know the name. And then we send you DMs. You don't even respond. That one too. <laughs> that one too. It's part of the flexing. Eh? Oh. But how far for do that? Super star level. You know oh, that kind of thing. You know, too too busy, too yeah, busy. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. but but like you're saying, now people can put a face to it. Then you did Pilolo. Mm -hmm. Let's gradually move to how mm -hmm. finally we are here. You mm -hmm. did Pilolo, yeah. and then it came with a dance as well. Yeah. Like, by incredible Ziggy. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. The Aquaba also came with a dance. Yeah. Well, who created that one? Aquaba was um, Mr. Easy did it in. If you watch Pour Me Water. Okay. He did it in that in that video. Mm -hmm. So then we were like, okay, he didn't have a name or anything. So when I sent him the song, he's like, okay, why don't you give a name to that dance and call it Aquaba? Then to come with the song. Wow. Yeah. Then it went. And then it became like a dance you guys had created together with the song. And yeah. every time the song was played anywhere. You have to do the dance. Do you think <laughs> that the dance also helped in selling the song? Yeah, it mm. did. It did. I think it's something that it's in music. If it comes with something physical, people tend to like gravitate towards that. They relate to the song and it helps the song move. Was that the inspiration for Pilulu also coming with the dance? Yeah, because he had the dance, but there was no song behind it. I was like, okay, we'll, we'll do a song called Pilulu to honor him because he's like he's a great dancer mm -hmm. and we did it that's incredible ziggy yeah incredible mm -hmm. ziggy then we did it and then um yeah that took off as well that took off i hear i hear uh jenna jackson did yeah, a bit of the pilolo dance as well yeah she did pilolo and she even did aquaba she did aquaba yeah, as well yeah, MTV, hey, you guys are making us proud eh? <laughs> you guys are making us proud mm -hmm. how did pilolo do pilolo Aj, <laughs> <laughs> how did that also do? Did no, he did he do better yeah, than did, Akaba yeah. or Akaba? No, Akaba is strong. Mm. Honestly, even till now, Akaba is. <sighs> he didn't make money from that. Akaba? Mm. Yeah, I did. I did. Hello, money. The way you're, yeah. you're scratching your neck, there. <laughs> this is like the money was child. <laughs> hey, Charlie. Good money, eh? Yeah, good Before money. Beyonce, that that was yeah, good money good for money. you. Yeah, did money. you did you think that you were going to get here? Now that we are talking about the Beyonce, I heard you mm. tell um, it was it like this or you told Andy Dusty that when the first mail was sent to you, you mm. thought it was a scam. So I mean, if like somebody that. sends you an email that um, Rihanna wants to you to interview her, you have to research. Yeah. Yeah. So I did research, and it came for a legit source. So I said yes. And he said yes. <laughs> did, did you think that somebody did some recommendation? How did it happen? Uh, did it you find the inside music. story? It was through my music. I asked them, how, they said through my music. So which of the songs? Were, at, at, actually, they were looking for producers from Africa. And my name came up like 10 times. Which of the songs do you think threw you there? It was Aquaba. Mm, mm. Aquaba, Fire, featuring Kim Promise and Joe Boy. And yeah, I did Gangin and Bangin, Pilolo. They saw all of that. And you're like, we you like this guy. <laughs> wow. And finally, they, they, they got you. Yeah. Uh, when when you, you did your research, you, you said, yes, I'll do it. And mm -hmm. you used to believe it was going to happen. Did it take time for it to happen? It was immediate. It was, it was immediate. Yeah, yeah. What did they say to you after that? Did they like, do some bits for us or something? No, they flew me over to LA. So Just like that? Yeah, they were like, okay, you're, you're on the next flight to LA. Ah, but did you have, already have a visa? Yeah, uh, yeah, we had a yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. anyway. So you're Italian, so I'm sure that uh, you're good to go. And then you just got there. Yeah. And then yeah. when you got there, I got there, you know. No uh, wait. So how did you tell family? I didn't tell them. Ah uh ah. -uh. I told them I'm going to do. I'm going to LA to do some work. So I told my mom I'm going to LA to do some work. Pray, pray for me so that it will be. Uh, it, it will come out good. Uh huh. That's what I. Told and that's her. what she said. She, didn't she said, "Okay, I'll pray. I'll pray for you." Yeah. She didn't. I, I told her I won't tell her. I can't tell her now. And she said, okay, okay, she'll pray for me. But when Aquaba came, I'm sure when they heard it and they saw you, that was when they started believing fully. Oh, they were like, even my dad would be sending me links. Hey! He, today, look at this news. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, see. Like, yeah. And I'm sure at that time, you also said, oh, I finally made these people proud. Yeah, yeah finally. Yeah, they're happy. My mom, every day, she tells me she's proud. Oh. Now, then you go to early. Then yeah. you're in the news. And then they see it. <laughs> or did you finally break the news to them that Charlie... Ma, I've seen Beyonce. I don't know. Oh, no, I told them after because I wanted to be like a surprise for everyone. So I told them after. I told them after everything when I left LA and I told them that hey, this is what I did. And you know, I, I was at the Lion King premiere, and they were like, wow, everybody <laughs> they were so happy. My mom was, my mom was so happy. So you got to LA and then you met the team and then yeah. they took you to a studio. Yeah, they took me to the studio and then they're like, okay, yeah, we want this kind of sound, you know, or just give us like what you have. 
like they say in Chi, when it's one bro kakra when you enter the studio of course i'm no, sure everyone's calm okay everyone's chill they welcome me even the time i won the awards mm -hmm. i was in early the time i won the ghana music mm -hmm. awards so everyone they had a big meeting and did a toast to give to me oh. saying like, congrats you won an award in, your, in ghana and i was like <laughs> Charlie and the shy guy to so how, how your reaction? I can imagine how your reaction because you you come across as very shy. Yeah. Were you able to even have a conversation with these folks? So like, do you, do you really? No, talk? they allow you to talk. They allow you to say. What are you able to, like? You are talking to me, but are, are you able? Are you ex? Okay, you said already. You are not expressive, so so. But I, I mean, yeah. If you, if you ask me a question, I'll answer you. And I also ask him. Like, oh, okay, so you want it like this or you want it like that? You know what I'm saying? I, I can I, I mean I can talk I'm talking yeah you're talking to me yeah <laughs> you're talking to me but what but, but the gadgets were they overwhelming you know or the gadgets you're used to yeah the gadgets I'm used to I guess it's not like something that I, I can't use I mean I was guy. working mainly on my laptop so oh okay yeah, oh even every there production was done on, on, on your laptop, laptop. Yeah. So all the songs that we hear was done on your laptop. This guy. Before we go, oh, it says, it says this guy. Before we go, we we'll get to see you show us a bit of that. Yeah. Uh, don't let anybody steal your your work, your creativity. <laughs> so just a bit of it. But let's wrap up the conversation with mm -hmm. you know finally when the whole of Ghana mm -hmm. heard what you had done there, yeah. and you saw the way you know. It was, it was, it was, I wasn't here when it was happening. I was like, if I was here, it would have been crazy. What would you have done? I, I mean, people will be looking for me, <laughs> but then, yeah, I, I don't know, I won't come and stand in the middle of the streets, but mm -hmm. then, I'll, obviously, I'll do like, a, I would have done like a bunch of interviews and mm -hmm. everybody would be happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. But even in your absence, that, did you feel the happiness, did you feel the excitement down here I from did. there? I did, I did, because I saw a lot of like tweets and a lot of people saying congrats, and saying, wow, this guy. A lot of people saying, oh, we didn't even, I didn't even know of this guy until this Lion King project. And I was like, you know, I've been there. Mm -hmm. You've been there, really. <laughs> and that was when you finally said, okay, look, now I'm here. Nah. And I'm, I'm here. I've reached. I've reached. <laughs> no, nobody can overlook me and all that, yeah, you know. Be be before before you, you, you got to that stage, did yeah. you ever at a point think that, look, this thing, I might one day have to pack my things? 2015. Hmm. I was like... I even prayed and I was like, God, if nothing happens by the end of 2015, I'm moving out of Ghana. I'm going to stay in Canada or something. I'm going to do some work, any work that I get. But then at the end of 2015, and that's when, that was the first time me and Mr. Easy worked. So we did Sample You. Okay. Yeah, that was the first song we did. So when that song took off, I was like, okay, it's a message from God. I'll just chill. Mm -hmm. Something will happen. Then, yeah. And then afterwards. I, I, was like, I, I was like, okay, I'll be patient and, you know, still, like, grind my way up. Now you are up. Now you've lifted the marking scheme. <laughs> I, I, how, how, how are you going to... I, I'm thinking, how is he going to maintain it? How is he going to, you know, go to the next... What, what's the next level or what was the next thought? Mm. What's the line of thought for you after so, this? Because um, this is huge. Yeah, this is huge. So the next thing I want to do is score movies. Hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's the next thing. I've, I already did um, Ivan Nelson's... Um, Heels and Sneakers, oh, I season see. one and three, yeah, season one, all of them. Okay, no wonder she was supporting, I saw yeah, she, the, yeah. a lot of posts about you and all yeah, that. That's my, that's my. Hey, that's, that's your, what? Yes. That's your, this is, <laughs> that's your, that's your Kukuru. <laughs> 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 it's also, also at you, Anna. Big support, yeah. Oh, yeah, support yeah, yeah, I saw her do a lot of that on social media. Yeah. And so beyond Heels and Sneakers, do you have other movies in mind? Have you reached out to producers and all mm, that? I think no, I'll start doing that from next year. From next year yeah i'll start seeing who to hit up or who will be looking for me but that's what i want to do that's what you want to do yeah. and this all, all this inspiration came from what you did with the lion king is that mm, it no it came from what i did with you okay on the heels so and like, sneaker project. i like this because hmm. it's very detailed and i like detailed work so i was like i'll do it now, ever since you got back have you had people reaching out to you now that you're an international <laughs> producer we need to add that when we are giving you the accolade <laughs> to say charlie you are the one on top now produce yeah. for me do this for me blah 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 i mean i think i'm busy so like hey charlie <laughs> <laughs> and then Ghana, oh, you've been busy oh i've been i've been i mean I've, I've, I've been busy trying to do things i'm trying i've been recording i think i'm gonna be in studio with Chrisiata tomorrow so oh Chrisiata. yeah so mm -hmm. we're gonna do some work Oh, okay. So, yes, so I want to come still? out with an album featuring like 
different people. Yourself? Yeah. So now it's about UC Beats and then get come and do be on my song and all mm, that. Mm. I think that is working for a lot of you guys and the songs yeah. seem to go, you know. Yeah, that's that's how it is. I think like the world is changing. So I think producers, so it's not just about making the beat or just recording the artist and say, okay, I have a hit song. I think it's now time to put your name forward. You understand? That's what the pro DJ Khaled, that's what they're all doing. You understand? They put themselves forward. Because in reality, if you're just producing, you will never make money more than the artist. Mm. In reality. Because the artist will be doing live shows and you're not getting money off the live shows. So. But, 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 but how do you intend to make money from getting even the artist to, produ to sing on your production and own mm. the song? You never will have step out there to, uh, to sing the songs and do yeah, live so shows. Yeah, I that. DJ. Oh, yeah, you do? So I'll be playing my own I think songs. I heard that from someone that you DJ. Yeah. So here in Ghana, you go to pubs, or how do you do that? Mm, or you have I haven't done. I, I do most of them in like London or America. Hey, Charlie. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I mean, surf. If, if there's any, I mean, I'm going to do a party towards the end of the year. I think yeah. I saw you in a short. Which one was that? And I asked somebody uh, that you, you DJ as well. I said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah I you do, do. I do. I did Boiler Room not long ago. Wow. And it, was, it was massive. Everyone loved it. And then you make money from that as well. Yeah. So, so that's, that's how you, that's live show. So as a producer slash DJ, you'll be getting money from producing and also being booked as a DJ. Mm. Congratulations to you. <laughs> what was, was um, the biggest project, apart from this, the biggest project, mm. as in the song that you say, this is the favorite. You know, you did, I think that you did the, uh, already, you did, uh, you did. Keys to the Kingdom uh -huh. and Find Your Way Back. Okay, you did this three. Yeah. I mean, it was obviously not just me. It's me and other producers coming together. To do but them. But then I was a major part of it. Yeah. Yeah, you're the girl on the dealing. <laughs> yeah. Which of these would you say um, was your favorite? Kiss to the Kingdom is my favorite. Why? Because it has Ghanaian high life in it. Okay. Yeah, if you listen to it, I, I made sure that the high life was present because I wanted to bring Ghana to... You know, I knew it was a big project, so as a represent Ghana. Who does who do you think is benefiting in the project, the the, the Lion King project? Do you think that we Africans are the ones benefiting or you think that Beyonce is benefiting from Africa? Because there's been a mm. lot of debates about how some people mm. think that oh we are benefiting, some people think that she's benefiting. No, everyone is benefiting because mm. is the African sound on the international front. So isn't that what we wanted? Mm -hmm. We want the world to hear us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And she's also benefiting from from it because now my mom didn't know who Beyonce was until I told her so now like now my mom knows her if like my grandma was alive she would have known who Beyonce was so everyone is benefiting okay so to some extent the arguments made sense because somebody also said the same thing that people do not even know Beyonce I was like yeah. ah really in this dispensation yeah, so, so there are people that is, like, mm. has internet or what like has YouTube or watch TV to see Beyonce you, yeah. you want to tell us how much you made no I can't <laughs> I hear it's a, it's a, it's a long time money um, money making venture for you. Yeah, this is because I mean, royalties. Registered, yeah, royalties and royalties are like for life. So, but the rest of my life, you're going to be making money. Yeah. You will never go broke. Nah. Congratulations to you. I am my being so yes, so why? Oh, me true. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, you did, I'm going to ask you initially, what is this new look? You just say you wanted to be fresh. This is how you're going to keep your hair. No, I'll change it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll do something nicer. Oh. <laughs> He just said it to himself. That is not nice. I didn't need to say. You said I you said did. nicer, so it's nice. But I'll do uh, something you sound nicer. nicer. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> nice. When I said, I'm like, oh, this man, <laughs> this one, yeah. Anyway, it's been nice hanging out with you. I've enjoyed the conversation. Thank you. And uh, we wish you the best. Thank you. And uh, you need to take us through what the production looks like. We need to have yeah. an insight I'll show you to how yes, I made maybe a and all exactly that. educators. Yeah. And I only see, I only know these ones as keyboards and pianos <laughs> or whatever. I'm sure maybe they have specific names and all that. So we'll yeah, just yeah. take a tour around the studio and yeah. find out how Guilty Beat does this. And maybe we'll dance in Aquaba. <laughs> Thank you. So let's do that. So this is the snow one you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. And it's called light up. Is that is that it? Name? Oh, yeah, that's how your name is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, so I took this vocal, then um, I put it here. This is called Logic Pro. This is what like, most producers use. Okay. So, so like that's the software. 
Yes, yeah, a software. Okay. And um, yeah, put a uh, spread it up, put some weird effects on it. So, so it's not like. I'm not planning this thing so bad. That's like, they're not doing good to a quapa. Hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, what well, this is the flute. And this was created with with this. The flute was created. So the flute, there's a plugin. It's a plugin. Okay. Called Icarus. That's what I use. Okay. To make my beats. And so in this case, were you specifically asked to, you know, give us a flute intro, or you just said no, okay? It, it's all inspiration. Oh, I see. Because I, see. I love Afro house and house music. Okay. So okay. That's how come I did this one. So okay. yeah, I put it the uh, put some strings. Mm. And then, what? Some rolling. It's pretty simple song. Very simple. Oh. If I if I solo the drums. Mm -hmm. So this okay. Hold on. Before that. This is the reason why it sounds like aqua because I put a long like echo on it. Okay. Okay. A long, a long like uh, ninety four percent feedback. Oh, so okay. So you go through, go through, go through. Because I want it mainly to, I want it to be like an instrumental song. Mm, mm. Yeah. So that's how come. This song is, is mainly drums. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of things put together. Yeah. So, but there's this. A clap. Okay. Snare. Wow. Uh, so we have all this clap in that song. Yeah, everything. Hey, <laughs> I, I'm see. I I I see. I think that maybe it got lost in the mix. So I'm not sure. I had. Bah. So what do you hear in Aquaba? I'm sure you heard this. Is it? There's there's one instrument that's really like everyone hears it. Let's see, let's see. Oh, this. this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone yeah. Knows, yeah. Even the first poon, I think I had it. I think that poon comes before easy jumps in. Yeah, there's like. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember this very well. Hmm. <laughs> so, what, what, what kind of drum is that? It's an 808. I just played it here. Like oh, okay, so you yeah. use these as well. So, yeah. you so first of all, you 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 get the tones from there, if that's yeah. what you call it. I mean, it's connected. So, I mean, why? Oh, okay. So you just need to record, and yeah, then all I have to do is just press R. Oh, okay. And, and record you. Yeah. Right. Flute. So how, how long does it take you to you know what you said behind you said okay I'm trying to prepare a beat mm -hmm. or cook it like you people say how long does it take does it take minutes or it can take mm -hmm. days I mean for a very basic drum loop and progression I think you should be able to maybe in like 20 minutes you should be able to get something done wow for basic like just a loop I see. Yeah. So, for instance, uh, you, the three songs that you did, h how long did it take you to before maybe the other your other f folks mm. came in? How long did it take you to do that? Um, for Kiss to the Kingdom, I, I actually took time because it's high life, so mm. you can't mess up high life. So, I took my time in like 30 minutes. Oh, I see. I had to take my time. Even I went, I came back the following day, I had to listen to it again and make, make some, some changes. changes. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Mm. That's nice. Well. So maybe one day when I decide to say I want to sing, do you have to look at the person's face or you ask the person? So what kind of what do you say? What kind of no, stuff? Sometimes do you, I ask them like, what do you want to sound you like? Want, how do you feel today? Because it's all about how you feel. So if the, the person comes says like, today I feel like I feel like rock music. Okay, 
let's do it okay yeah. oh that's how it works yeah so then so okay that's how come when you can you can just make a bit and say oh this person will sound good on that mm. because you follow their music and you yeah. know what they do and yeah. all that i see well it looks very complicated obviously <laughs> because i don't have an idea what what goes into this but i think i have enjoyed the session yeah. with you but one thing that i didn't ask you that i now want to ask you maybe one of this camera for me okay. is how did beyonce feel when she saw you that she's this genius produce beats from africa and his year how did, she, what did she say to you what had no she was happy she said she, she first thanked me for coming to the studio to work on the project and, you know we Go <laughs> No, Kofo, I didn't know she was going to come okay. to the studio, yes, um, but apparently she's always there. But I didn't know she was like coming to where I was specifically because she, she, was, she was told I was there. Mm -hmm. And she said, okay, she wants to come and say hi. Then she came to say hi. So she, did she stretch her hands? I did, yeah, she I yeah, yeah, yeah. I, what first, she, first mm -hmm. I, I shook her hands. Then she said, thank you for coming. I was thinking, wait, why am I shaking you in this hands? Then I gave her <laughs> <laughs> you give her a yeah, hug, yeah. but on the day when you were at the Lion King premiere, you yeah. couldn't give her a hug. No, oh, well, you afraid of Jay Z? So many, no, no. <laughs> like, I was like, so many cameras there. That I think, you know, I didn't, I didn't want. Your camera shy? Shoot, the flash was crazy, so I was like. I just did something small. Yeah. yeah, because I saw the lady wanting to, you know, and then <laughs> it was almost like you were stretching your hands or you were giving your shoulder or something like that. I, I remember I watched it and I was like, oh, yeah. wow. Charlie, you need to be G, 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 warmth, oh, maybe. I'm still growing, you know, I'm still trying to understand this fame and all that. So, yeah. I said I've ended, but because you said you're still growing, what's that one thing that you've learned through this process mm. that you want to share with people who are hoping to one day be a guilty beat or mm. people who look up to you i think patience yeah i've learned from that 2015 experience i learned i learned to be patient you know because i understand when people go through frustrations because i've also been through frustrations before where you want to stop everything you're doing and i don't think you should stop because it's definitely going to pay off Def like one day you're going to get your cut you're going to get what you want it took you four years to finally say this. Right. <laughs> Congratulations to you. And I'm sure at this point, let me know, ask some more <laughs> questions. Thank you very much for allowing us into your studio. Yeah. You're very, very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. One, two, three, four. Yeah. 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 One, two, three, four. Uh-huh. That's it. It's One, very two, simple. three, four. Look at my leg. Look at my leg. I, I see that leg moving sound like. Hey, uh -huh. with the hand again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's where the problem will start. Combination. Hey, off, off beat. Hey, father. Then, then, uh, okay, well, like, then you can freestyle. Freestyle. Yeah. So it's only when, so so when, when do you chorus, return, when the chorus starts yeah, again, then, then you do the. the yeah. When the verse comes in, you can... Please, you can. all of you who have been dancing the wrong, that means we've been told that... You know, but the first fall that we did, we didn't move our legs. So you first start with your hands without moving your legs. No, you have to move your legs throughout. You that are one, not watching. No, I know they sit up. <laughs> I know they sit up, but maybe you get to dance it in your homes and all that. But so from the studio of Guilty Beats, we say thank you very much for watching the gist. What do you miss, Gene? And this is our superstar of the moment. Let's patronize him. Oh, no, no, this is a big guy. <laughs> Charlie, I didn't send him DMs, but you know they respond. They think oh, oh, pay oh, me oh, off. Oh, oh, oh. I, 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 I will check. Charlie, right. but thank you very much. Eh? Thank you. All the best. All right.